Hey HVAC pros, did you know that the way we test duct leakage is about to change dramatically? Even if your ducts are inside the building envelope, you're no longer off the hook. This could change everything about how we design and install HVAC systems. What's up everyone, I'm Chris Moore with HVAC Pro Blog, and today we're diving into a major change in HVAC codes that's heading your way. And trust me, you'll wanna stay ahead of this curve. Whether you're a contractor, installer, or just someone interested in HVAC, these changes will impact how we all do business. Let's break down what's changing, why it matters, and what you need to do about it. So let's talk about the current code requirements. Let's start where most states are now. Most are working with either the 2015 or 2018 International Energy Conservation Code. Here's the deal. The current requirement is 4 CFM per 100 square feet of the conditioned floor space. And there's a big exception that no testing is required if all ducts and the air handlers are within the building envelope. Quick poll, drop a thumbs up in the comments if you're already doing duct testing regularly. The big change comes in the implementation of the 2021 IECC. Here's where things get interesting. The 2021 IECC is bringing some serious changes the rough-in test stays at 4 CFM per 100 square feet with the air handler. You can do the rough-in test without the air handler at 3 CFM per 100 square feet, but the game changer is that even ducts within the thermal envelope now have to be tested. And if everything's within the envelope, the new requirement is 8 CFM per 100 square feet, so you can leak twice the amount. Here's the thing, there's a huge impact on installation. This could shake up how we approach installs. Some contractors might move ducts within the building envelope, or since they have to test either way, just leave them outside the envelope. This could affect system sizing. Remember, interior ducts have no losses or gains, which typically means smaller systems. Oh, keep in mind, new air handle requirements have a max 2% leakage when tested. Let me know in the comments, are you team ducts inside or teams ducts outside the envelope? So let's talk about what you need to do. Here's your action plan. First, get familiar with testing procedures. Then, connect with local trade organizations for training and support with this. Number three, stay informed about your state's adoption timelines. And four, consider upgrading your duct testing equipment or actually investing in one to begin with. These changes are coming whether you like it or not. But here's the thing, maybe they're not so bad. Better duct sealing means more efficient systems, happier customers, and ultimately a better reputation for our industry. You wanna learn more about manual D and duct design? Consider enrolling in my virtual four week residential system design masterclass. I'll put the link in the description below. But before you go, hit that like button if you found this information helpful. And don't forget to subscribe for more HVAC updates and industry insights. Leave a comment below telling me what you think about these changes. Are they good for the industry or are they going way too far?